Hi, my name is Pam Silverblatt. I'm a senior counsel at Von Schemek. I spoke at today's webinar on the topic of the recent memo issued by the National Labor Relations Board General Counsel dealing with non-compete agreements. The General Counsel recently released guidance on non-compete agreements, indicating that merely offering or proffering and maintaining and enforcing non-compete agreements could violate Section 8A1 because they have a chilling effect on employees exercising their rights to self-organize, such as forming, joining, and assisting unions for the purposes of collectively bargaining. Although non-compete agreements and provisions dealing with not competing are not completely barred, the general counsel memo indicates that the provisions in order to possibly be considered lawful would have to be very narrowly tailored and geared to protect proprietary interests, trade secrets, managerial or ownership interests, or other very similarly narrow drawn to protect business interests. The general counsel's memo, although not binding, is directive to the regions across the country, and it tells them that they should look for matters dealing with these types of non-compete provisions to bring forward and look for cases that implicate those kind of provisions or pursuing. And of note for employers, and this was pointed out repeatedly this afternoon, is that this is part of a larger overarching strategy on the part of various different governmental entities as well as state legislatures looking at provisions and agreements that limit employees' affiliation and association rights and post-employment rights um, and, and post-employment job submitting rights. And so employers need to be very judicious and very careful in how they look to draw these types of provisions and enforce these types of provisions. In addition to what I spoke about this afternoon, colleagues here at Bond spoke about several different issues. Gabe Oberfeld provided an update on New York State policy and legislation, including an update on COVID and data privacy. Sandra Casey spoke about U.S. Department of Education guidance on third-party servicers. Mia Delane Gurley spoke on remote instruction for students and DJ Nugent provided an update on the impact of the official end of the COVID-19 national emergency and associated outbreak period. Thank you.